Do your essays or summary writing to test your ability to understand a short passage and your ability to express your thoughts. So in this video, what we're going to do is to point out some mistakes that students make while answering questions on summary writing and also show you the right ways to answer questions on summary writing. So pay attention because this video is really going to help you a lot while answering questions on summary writing. Now, the first common mistake that students make when answering questions on summary writing is lifting of answers from the passage. Lifting of answers from the passage. Yes, you're supposed to answer the question from the information provided in the passage. But you don't have to lift your answer from the passage. Like I said, the essence of it, the essence of answer writing is to test your ability to express your thoughts. Okay? You're not supposed to lift the answer verbatim the way it appears in the um passage now if you're asked a question what you're supposed to do is to go to the place where the answer is and i hope you already know that you should first read um the questions on summary writing before reading the passage and when you're reading the passage you underline the place that has the answers so that you won't have to go back uh, to start reading the passage again before answering the questions okay that's what you should do if you don't know already that's what you should do for example, in 2018, the candidates were asked to mention the bad effects of social media on the youth. And according to the passage, one of the bad effects that social media have on the youth is that it makes them waste valuable time. It makes them spend valuable time on the internet, cafe, Facebook, Skype, and all of that. Now, according to the passage, in the second paragraph of the passage, um, it says they spend valuable time in internet cafes or glued to their smartphones with the hope that through Skype or Facebook, love will come their way. This is one of the bad effects of social media on the youth according to the passage. But you do not have to, you know, write this the way it appears in the passage. You don't do that. What you're supposed to do is to paraphrase it. Paraphrase it using your own words. Now, the first thing you should do is to cut off um, examples, cut off unnecessary details. Now, in this sentence, we have examples I should cut off. Remember, is summary. Your summary should be as brief as possible. Make it as brief as possible. Now, the first thing I'm supposed to cut off is the examples. Examples like um, Internet Cafe, Facebook, um facebook smartphones skype and all the rest of them and the necessary detail you should cut off is with the hope that luck would come their way that's the necessary detail in the answer to the equation we are asked to provide the bad effect of social media on the youth on the youth and not what they hope to achieve with it right now what is the bad effect of social media on the youth according to this sentence um, the bad effect of social media, according to this sentence, is that it makes them um, spend valuable time, spend valuable time on the internet cafe. It makes them spend valuable time in the internet cafe. That means it makes them to waste time. It makes them to waste their time. Now, how do you put this in your own words? So, ask a question on summary writing. Social media encourages you to waste valuable time. Social media encourages you to waste valuable time. What I did was to replace spend um, with waste because when I put words there, the sentence will still return is meaning. Okay? You can also replace with spend with a word like lose. Social media encourages you to lose valuable time. Social media encourages you to waste valuable time. So what I've done is to replace the word um, spend, which is one of the main words in the sentence. And I did not replace time because time is a common noun. If I replace it with another word, it will sound ridiculous. For example, what can I really say that is close the meaning to the word time that when I put it there, it will sound ridiculous and um, the sentence will not lose its meaning. Now, let's say, for example, if I say TikTok, TikTok, like connotes um, time, right? TikTok, it, TikTok, like the sound that a um, clock makes, it connotes time. But if I put it there, this sentence will sound ridiculous if I put it there. So you don't really need to replace common nouns. Now, another thing you shouldn't play with is um, obeying grammatical rules when you're asking questions on summary writing. Remember, it's an English language exam. Do not joke with concourse. Do not joke with the tense of your sentence. 
if your subject is singular, your uh, verb should be singular. If you're having problems with concord, please, there are videos on it on this channel. You should watch the videos on it. Make sure your subject and your verb agrees. Also, make sure that the tense that is used in asking you the question is the same tense you're going to use to answer the question. For example, if the question is in the past tense, your answer should also be in the past tense. And if your question is in the present tense, your answer should also be in the present tense. Do not give your answer in the present tense when the question is in the past tense or, or give your answer in the past tense when the question is in the present tense. I hope you're following me. So also make sure that you write a complete sentence. What do I mean by writing a complete sentence? A sentence starts with a capital letter, right? A sentence starts with a capital letter and ends with a full stop. Do not forget that. Because if you start a sentence with a small letter, you are going to lose some marks. A sentence starts with a capital letter and ends with a full stop. And you do not start a sentence. Don't start your answer with words like because in order to so that. Start your sentence with a noun or a noun phrase. For example, social media is the name of a thing, right? It's the name of a thing. That is a noun. Social media is the name of a thing. There is something called social media. What is the noun? Name of something. Name of a thing. Name of a person. Name of an animal. So social media is the name of a thing, a particular thing. So that's why I used it to start the sentence. And so start your sentence with a um, noun or a, a noun phrase. So start your sentence with a noun or a noun phrase. In addition, please use the same level that is used in asking the question. If you're asking question one, please label it question one, okay? If you're, asking, if you're asking question one, please label it question one. If you're asking question two, please label it question two. Do not label it when the level that is used in setting the question is one. Use the level that the examiner used in asking you the question so you don't confuse the person marking your script. Now, Another important thing, please, when asking questions on turning writing, make sure you write the right number of sentences you are asked to write. Answer your questions with the right number of sentences you are asked to write. If you are asked to answer the question in three sentences or two sentences or one sentence, please do not exceed and do not go below the number of sentences required um, in your answer. Okay? Always write the right number of sentences that you are asked to write. Those are some of the common mistakes that students make while asking questions on summary writing. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something new from this video. Please, if you have um, any questions, leave me in the comment section. If you want to support us, please use the um, icon number on the screen. Thank you very much for watching and see you later in another video. Bye for now.